Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make an animated GIF just like this one that you can use in your classroom. Also gonna show you how that you can customize it so that you can use it as a banner for your Google Classroom. So keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need to do is start a brand new Google Slides presentation. And then you're going to delete those little boxes. You're going to pick your background. So for that one, I did a Google image search and I looked for um, rainbows. And for this one, I'm just gonna choose one that's up here close to the top. So let's go with this one. All right, there we go. Now we have our background. So now I'm gonna pick the Bitmoji that I want to go in there. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna type in Unicorn. Yeah, they got some funny ones. I'm not gonna lie. And this is the one that I used for this. Move it up. And I want it coming in from the left. So I'm gonna flip this horizontally. Am I though? There we go. All right, now I'm gonna move her to where she's hanging off the page because we want her coming in. All right, and now I'm going to duplicate this slide. And I'm gonna click back on her and I'm gonna move her one, two, three, four, and up one. I'm gonna duplicate the slide. Click on the Bitmoji, one, two, three, four, and up one, two. Click on the slide, duplicate. And this time I'm gonna go six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up one, two. Click back on the slide, duplicate that. Click on my Bitmoji. One, two, three, four, five, six, and up one, two. And again, click on that Bitmoji. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this time I'm just gonna go up one. Click back on the slide and duplicate. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm not gonna go up any this time. So you're just gonna keep repeating that. To get the words on the screen, I just added some text boxes. And I want it all to be centered in here. And for this one, I used Bangers, which is one of the fonts in the Extensus add-on. Um, but after you use it, it's just gonna show up with your other fonts. So you don't have to, if you have one that you like, you don't have to keep going back to Extensus add-ons. Gonna make that bigger so it fits in the whole thing. And then I'm gonna go back to my add-ons and I'm gonna do magic rainbow unicorn slides. Do y'all see a theme with me here in unicorns? Yeah, I am a middle-aged woman and I love unicorns. And I'm going to add a drop shadow to this so that we can see it better. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to duplicate this slide and I'm going to continue moving my Bitmoji across. Now to add the word tips where that I had it moving across there, I added another text box. And I 
typed in, get all centered up. I typed in tips. I chose a font. I'm not sure which one right now, but let's go with this one. Oh, you gotta highlight the words first, Brandy. Lord of Mercy. All right, let's go with this one. I'm gonna make that big enough to fit in that whole text box. I'm gonna make it a rainbow again. Put a drop shadow on it again so we can see it better. All right, and now I'm going to duplicate this slide. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on the slide and I'm going to duplicate this slide. So now I'm going to click on this and I'm going to move it one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, whoops, gotta make sure you click on the box. One, two, three, four. And then duplicate the slide. And then just repeat that until you get it all the way across where you want it. Okay, so now I have all of the slideshow that I want. Just like I want it pretty much, I guess. So now we're going to go to a site called Tall Tweets. I just I usually just use the classic okay and it's showing my Google slides this is the one I want to do so click on that select it's uploading it For the slide duration, I'm going to do point 0.2 and see how that looks. That usually does okay. I don't, I want the slides to be shown in the sequence that I have them on there, so I don't need to do anything with that. The width in pixels, I don't ever do anything with that. Now I'm going to click create GIF. There you go. You're gonna save that to your computer. And to get it into your Google slide presentation, you're gonna create a new slide. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. And you're gonna add it as a background. There you go. And you can also create a GIF like this for your Google Classroom. And I will show you what mine looks like. So this is what my GIF looks like for the classroom that I created to do tutorials for this channel. And in order to create that, when you create your Google slide, 
to start out with. I'm gonna make a new Google slide presentation and get rid of all of these, of course. But here's where you change it up. You go to file and then down to page setup and you're going to create a custom size. And for the banner, it is 16.67 by 4.17. There you go. Just create it the exact same way that we did the other one. You put in your background, you put in your Bitmoji, you make it move across the screen however you want. And then whenever you get ready to upload it to your um, Google Classroom, it'll be the right dimensions for it. So everything that you see in there will show on your Google Classroom banner. So I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope that you have fun creating these. I know I, um, I have a lot of fun making them. When I made the first unicorn one that you guys saw at the beginning and I showed my husband, he just, he laughed so hard. He thought it was hilarious. I think they're super fun. Have fun making them and I will catch you guys in the next one.